All right, and here we have uh, depth and step measurements. So the top left here, we have an uh, image of a depth measurement being taken. In the top right here, we have a picture of a step measurement being taken. So this is the third and the fourth ways that you can use a caliper. I would say that it does take a bit more skill to correctly take these measurements as they are uh, more prone to error, but we'll go over each of these. So, so depth measurements are used for internal features and depths of uh, blind holes typically. So blind holes are holes that don't go through a part, but you know, just go to a certain depth. So here we have a camera mount and we want to know the depth of this hole. So we'd use the uh, depth measurement to take that measurement. Here we have a GoPro mount and we're trying to, and if we want to design a hinge, a mating hinge for it, uh, you know, we'd need to know a couple things about it, including um, the depth of this feature here. And here, if I was making a part uh, to connect to this um, off the shelf PVC pipe fitting, I'd want to know how far in uh, this step feature is in the fitting. So the thing to keep in mind for depth measurements is that you're looking for the smallest value when you're taking the depth measurements. And you also want to be sure that your, your caliper, uh, the measuring part of it, is square with the part. So if you take an incorrect measurement, if you're not um, fully seated, the measurement might come out too long or too too large for what the correct measurement is. This, this diagram kind of demonstrates that. If we're tilted and the measuring part comes out like this, the tilt actually creates a incorrect measurement. Whereas if you're fully seated, um, you get the correct measurement. So same as with outside and inside measurements, we want to make sure that our caliper and part surfaces are clean. We want to make sure surfaces seat properly and the drop pressure is light. So if I wanted to measure um, <clears throat> the depth of this hole right here, I would use the depth measuring feature of the caliper. And so the thing here is, how do you make sure zero is zero? Well, with the outside jaws, um, you just touch, touch the jaws together and zero is zero. Now with the depth measurement, you actually do this and push down push down, push down, push down, push down, and make sure that long, that make, make sure the depth device is fully seated. And now you can look at the readout in zero is zero. So I like to come in at an angle first, and then I like to sit it down and make sure it's fully seated. And zero is close enough to zero. So, and then you also want to make sure that when you're taking a measurement, that you know you're not at an angle at the final measurement, but you're you're square with the part. Okay, so for this screw. We just open the caliper, put this in, and then we're going to come down and then seat it. Make sure it's seated. 0 0.280. Do it again. Point two eight one. Okay. Next, we have this mount, and we want to uh, create a mating hinge. So I need to know um, the depth of this, just so it'll work with my part. 
So we come in. Point six zero one. Point six zero five. Point six. So, you know, it's a not really a square feature, so it could be that every time I took a measurement, I was slightly at a different point on that curve. So that's why I'm getting a slightly different measurements, but they're close enough. Now, let's say that I wanted to measure and to make a mating part for this and see this step feature here. I want to know how far that step feature is um, down into the fitting. So I'll use the depth measurement. I'll line, I'll make sure that the step feature catches, catches the caliper, and then I come down. Point seven eight two. Point seven seven nine is three apart. Point seven eight um, six. So, you know, it's a plastic part, um, not dimensionally consistent. So, you are going to get those slight variations in the part, depending on where you're measuring. So, okay. So now let's quickly talk about step measurements. So the step function in the caliper is a little um, different. It's kind of um, kind of overlaps the other functions, um, and it's this back part here. Um, and so what happens is when you have a part, you can actually take a measurement on where, where the surface seats. So this distance here is the step measurement. And you know, so it can be used for kind of height measurements, um, depth measurements, if the object can accommodate this large part of the caliper. Um, you know, it, it doesn't kind of fit into one category. So I have this mount, and if I wanted to measure um, this distance here, I could use the step function. If I have the LCD display, and if I wanted to measure the height of this, I could either use the depth function or the step function. And if I have this screw and I, uh, this, this knob with the screw at the end, if I wanted to measure the length of the screw, I could either use the the actually I could use the inside caliper. Um, I could actually use the inside jaws to kind of get an approximate measurement. I could use the depth, and I could use the step. Okay, so as you can see, step kind of falls into uh, several types of measurements. So for step measurements, just like with depth measurements, you want to use, you want to look for the smallest value. If you're not uh, fully seated on the part, you might actually get a larger reading than what the actual part measures, or what the actual part is. So you always want to make sure that you're fully seated on the part and you get the smallest um, reading. And that should be a good indicator that you have a good measurement. So again, got to make sure that caliper and part surfaces are clean, surfaces seat properly, 
and the draw pressure is light. So if we wanted to measure this distance here, take the step measurement, this, and then we want to bring this down to here. So I come down and make sure I'm seated and square. 0 0.726, 0 0.727, 0 0.727, good. And if we have this LCD uh, display and I wanted to use the step measurement to get the, the height here, you can you do that. Make sure the surface is flat. Make sure we're, this is actually not ideal. Do have to be careful. Point two eight four. Point two eight two. Okay, good. And finally, we have our um, knob with the screw at the end. So we can use the step feature and get a uh, length of the screw measurement. 0 0.735 0 0.736 0 0.735 so there you have it, uh, introduction to the depth and step uh, measurement functions of a caliper.